here's another tomato that I planted and uh, it looks like it's got a little bud right here on top a little bloom right there so I'm excited over that this is another variety of tomato I've never planted before and this is called the bush goliath and it's a hybrid tomato and it's also a determinant okay now I know you remember I was using this old um, box spring from a bed for my peas for them to start growing up would you like to see what my peas are doing hang on a second ta-da I am so excited they're doing so well they're so happy well I am in the playpen also known as the pepper patch also known as kind of the transition period until I figure out where the permanent homes are going to be of various things. So you may remember from a previous video where I overwintered my pepper plants. And um, so last week I brought them out. I planted them. So far, epic fail. Yeah, so far, epic fail. Um, I'm just not even going to waste my time on them anymore. I'm just going to get them gone. But I'm going to wait until, I think I'll wait a couple of weeks just to see if they do come back to life. And um, by that time, the uh, peppers that I'm starting in my elevated garden bed should be big enough to be transplanted. But for right now, we'll leave them there. These were my, um, what are these? These are my bell peppers, my red bell peppers. Epic fail. Um, here's the rest of them. Yeah, epic fail. I just, honestly, I'm a little disappointed. However, if you look over here, I didn't see these before. Look here. I've got two little tiny tomato plants <laughs> that I did not plant. So <coughs> I'll be transplanting those. Um, as soon as they get a little bit bigger, I'll move them. So let's see. The potatoes that I planted in my potato tower. Ta-da! I, I did add um, some um, hay compost to them. But I need to get another bale of hay and add more. And uh, I have another bag of dirt that I will... Uh, just keep piling up and I think what I decided to do because I'm short I think I'm just going to leave this pit uh, this potato tower this high which is about knee high for me yeah about knee high and then I'll take the other one and start another potato patch in there and uh I'll work on that this week, just make sure they have time to grow and do everything they need to do. So, um, basically for container gardening, I'm happy. I'm okay with that. So far, so good. I don't know about the potato yield itself, but the plants are looking really good. And over here, if you remember right, this was my weird container gardening experiment. And, uh, <laughs> again, I would have to call this a success. I did buy two more tomatoes that um, I have not tried before. And they are something called Parks Whopper 
they're a hybrid and they are an indeterminate. So these are basically a viney tomato. So um, I need to pay attention to where I plant those. But the lettuce looks like we're going to be having a salad. Sorry about that. I dropped my phone. But the lettuce, we are definitely going to be having salad here within the next couple of days. Um, the spinach is doing very well. Carrots. Yeah, I hope we like a lot of carrots. But I did um, some research, and you can tell me if it's true or not. But I was told from different videos I watched, different um, things online that I researched from Google, says I can transplant these before they start forming their tubers. So I'm going to be moving these over to the big garden and I have one row designated for carrots so I'll uh, be putting those over there this is where I transplanted um, two of my cantaloupe too and uh, it's here in the playpen and like last year my goal is to have them just climb and creep up over the fence so they don't keep creeping out into the walk area and take up space and then I'll be able to uh, plant my um, once they're ready to be transplanted I'll plant my pickling cucumbers over here so my goal is my goal is to have the um, cantaloupe climb clear across this fence as much as it'll want to go and then plant my pickling cucumbers over here along this fence and let them go as far as they'll go. So uh, that's everything going on here in the playpen.